Karate. Welcome to Stitch the Sketch video series. In this exciting creative journey, I'll be showing you how I draw on fabric using my sewing machine and thread. I'll be drawing pencil sketches that I do in my sketchbook onto fabric. For the next 52 weeks, each week I'll show you one video. So come along with me. Let's get started. I'm going to start with a simple sketch of the hand in a fist. I trace the sketch onto fabric using a pencil. Now I'm going to outline the lines of the pencil using my sewing machine and thread. I chose to use white fabric because I wanted to imitate a white sheet of paper. The color of thread was a little bit tricky in choosing because I wanted to imitate a pencil, but I have black fabric in the back of my work and so using black thread would have made it difficult for the thread to show at the back. And I like the thread to show in the back of the work because it's just as good at the back as it is in front. And I like to show the stitches in the back. After a lot of trial and error, I realized that I could use a gray color thread. So I'm using a, a gray color thread in this sketch so that it will show both in front and in the back. Now I'm done with the outline and I'm going to add some um, shading to the outline. Shading with thread is going back and forth and drawing lines with your stitches. Depending on how dark or light you want the shading to be, you can make your stitch lines close together or far apart. Close together will give you dark shading and farther apart will give you light shading. You can always go over your stitch lines as many times as you want to emphasize the lines. I'm stitching over the line in the palm of the hand to give it some more detail. And then I move on to some more shading on the other side of the palm. I continue to stitch lines back and forth to simulate shading. It's a slow process but very rewarding. Now I go on to shade the fingernail of the thumb. I want it to be dark shading, so I'm going to sh stitch very close together. As you can see, my stitch lines are very close together, resulting in a very dark shading. Now I have to travel to the other fingernail. Because this is continuous stitching, I don't want to stop when I'm stitching and cut the thread. So I have to find a way and a path to travel along to where I want to go. In this place, I'm doing very light shading. So as you can see, the lines are a little bit farther apart, which results in lighter shading. And now I move on to the fingernail again, and I want this to be dark. So I make my stitch lines closer together. I want some more shading in this place, but I want it to be light. So I'm going to leave a lot of white space in between to simulate a light shading. I travel over to the next fingernail and I begin to shade it a dark color. I love fingernails. I love to paint fingernails. I don't paint my own fingernails, but I paint fingernails when I'm working. Now, 
Now I go on to sign my name. So here you have it, a pencil sketch transferred onto fabric using thread and a sewing machine. And the back is just as good as the front. Let's compare the original pencil sketch and the thread sketch.